Morley is in... Eight twenty-six. Ah, oh, fuck me, man. Is he not actually coming back? Ah. So now, okay, so he's over here somewhere now. So I hadn't properly looked at the map. I guess I didn't look at the whiteboard correctly at first. He is clinging to me, isn't he? So is he about to come back in, or not? Oh. Whoa, how'd he get over there so fast? What? I thought he was coming in the door next to me. Are those even connected? What the hell? He was like about to come in this door, and then I saw I hid in the locker, and he came around that door. I'm like, what? <laughs> Did he like, I guess he, I don't know, he, he seems kind of fast, but that might have been a teleporting alien. Ah. <laughs> You have so little visual information about where to go. Because the motion tracker, especially in the locker, is like... Oh, is that the door opening again? Is he up in the vents now? I should probably just go for it, otherwise I'm going to be here forever, right? This fucking game, man. This fucking game likes to murder you in the face hole. Over there is. Oh god, investigating multiple rooms looking for one card. Screw me, right? Okay. Let's go in here real quick. Was that a schematic? Not super sure if he's nearby right now or not. Is my noisemaker constantly making noise right now? Is that real noise or fake noise? Like, could something hear that noise? Because it really seems to be constantly chiming and that's not really the intention. Here comes my death, doo 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 doo. Here comes my death, and I suck. It's so right. Little darling. Is that the sound saying that I've been detected, or is it just like. Or is it just playing with music right now? Is it going in circles right now? Da dum, da dum, da dum, da dum, da dum, da dum, da 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 Dishonored or Deus Ex were like, I'm a guard, I do patrols around these areas, don't get spotted by me. It's like, this alien magically goes to rooms that you are that you are in. Because this facility is massive, and the gimmick is to only have one alien. But that one alien seems to have like a... It's like he's got his own motion detector, but the motion detector just says, you are within 100 meters or not within 100 meters. Like it's a binary state. Like he doesn't know where. Like he doesn't know where to look for me. But he's like always in the exact series of rooms. Like it's like the woman's here somewhere in this circle. Like like, like that circle I have for objectives. That he has an objective marker for my corpse or soon to be. <laughs> that seems to be how he finds me. Cause he. Uh... Is that a save. That's a save point. Oh, great. That means I don't have to redo everything up until now. Now I just have to look for that for the key card and that's it. Oh, I'm happy. Unless, unless I die right now, then I'll lose that save point. Oopsie. Moved around more than I meant to. Alright, we'll see. 
hey, that's good news. My last save point was way all the way up there, multiple stealth sections ago. So now I just need to find the key card somewhere over here, but I don't have to redo any of the previous stuff now. That's nice. Ah, dude gets around. Or doesn't? Did he go away? No, nope. he's way off in the distance, huh? Seems to be staying in the distance, though. It's about as good of a chance as I'm gonna get, and hey, if I die, I just have to redo that part. Don't be in this hallway in front of me, because I think it's the only way I'm allowed to go to get to my objective. So if you show up here, I'm just kind of fucked. F you say, kit. That's the sound of me being about to die. Yep. Get in there. Why is the lock got to be so loud? <laughs> here comes the alien. Dude, he's fast. It's kind of crazy just how fast he is, actually. It's like, oh, he's nowhere nearby. He's in here right now. That's actually one of the different things, too, about this as a stealth game. Not only is he like this weird, omnipotent being that's like... Uh, he's, he's like the he's like the he's like the version of an of omnipotent being that also has like coke bottle glasses and that he he's like he's omnipotent as close as like a really bad GPS, but also he's so fast. Normally, uh, your stealth characters don't sprint around like crazy people. Here he comes. Well, I'm dead. No. No. No? There's a vent in here? I didn't even know there was a vent in this room. Alright, good luck me. Where is that? Fuck. I think I just saw him. Is that really him again? Dude just floats around, doesn't he? I think I just saw him like down the hallway, like his head. I'm like, I just looked at my motion tracker and you weren't even on it. How'd you get here so fast? <laughs> All right. I don't think I believe the simulation... I don't think I believe the... The, uh... What's supposed to be like an immersive simulation of one alien? He... I definitely, like, can feel him teleporting. <laughs> the way that he moves around is way too fast. He feels like, uh, what's her name? The... The Bioshock Infinite girl. I forget her name right now, but she teleports like crazy. The trick with her is she was just constantly off-camera. And so she would magically be there to throw you supplies, but she's really just teleporting off camera. Kind of like how, like, performers in a rock band magically move around. Where is she? So he's on my motion tracker, but I can't see him on my motion tracker. Oh god, and he's just somewhere here. Oh, crap. What was the room he was in? I think it's A29, so I've got to go... Oh. How would I know which way to go? Well, it's one door to either side. We can go arbitrarily left or right. Like reading. Let's maybe go left, yeah. When I go out the door to go down here. It's the direction the alien was coming from, and I feel like he spawns to interrupt your ability to go after objective sometimes. Oh, he is right outside, isn't he? really bothers me you can't just look at the motion tracker like a normal human being <laughs> like why did why is it why is it so weirdly out of view yep I think that's the sound of him coming in now the door's still closed there it is hey, he's up our assistant little bastard wait oh he didn't come in oh no no sound 
Ah, fuck me, right? Is he gonna run right over here? No, he went a different direction. The best chance I'm gonna get. Until I die right now. No, no more sound. That's probably good. 829. Okay. Key card, yes. Let's just get in here immediately. <laughs> you know, just in case. Alright, I got my card. Uh, gotta go back that way. Is that door still locked? Oh, uh, it would be such a long path to go back. Do I have to go all the way back? I don't know. It says locked. What if there's an emergency override, though? Like, because there was an emergency override right here on that door. So what if I can go through this side of this door, perhaps? Otherwise, we have such a long path going all the way around. Uh... He's not too far off. Mr. Alien, could you just wander somewhere else, please? Pretty please? Is he thumping around up there? Oh, he's close. Okay. Might be the best chance I get. So go that way. <laughs> Just see how far I can make it. I, I guess I can duck into a doorway along the way if anything comes by and try to hide. Uh, it's such a big open hallway. Where is he? Get in there. Oh, now we're getting in there now. <laughs> do 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 do. You coming over here? The toughest thing about the motion tracker is the the part where it's behind you. It's like ah. Uh, oh, it's, it's exactly this far away from you in front of you, and but then like the other three directions, are like ah, oh, no, it exists. <laughs> like, oh, cool. Yeah, I got it. No, it's fine. It's somewhere. It, Conf confirmation the monster is real. Uh, those seem to be the, the beeps of a faraway enemy, I think. Oh, music's getting dramatic. We're staying put. That means it's nearby. Go away. Go away. I don't want to play with you. Pretty please. Go away. Ah. Uh, wow. They even make snake noises. <laughs> oh, it's building up again. It's making all these snake noises to mess with me. Like a rattlesnake. Ooh, we're getting loud. We're not, we're not loud anymore. That died down fast. That, that glow seems to indicate he's literally outside the room, though. Let's take a peek. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> I see that motion track, I'm like, oh, whoa. okay, cool, he's sprinting at me. I'm gonna go back inside now. Oh, come on. <laughs> How long are you gonna be exactly where I am? Come on. Ah. Uh. Oh. That was the sound of it leaving the range, huh? Well, it's about the only chance I'm getting. Where does that vent go? Back outside? That seems like a bad gamble. Oh look, we have all the rooms listed now. It was on that map. Uh, there's one more room in front of me.
Is that a rewire station right there? Ooh, look. It is. Oh, no, it's not. What is that? Oh, you can see all the other rooms. That seems dangerous, actually. Another map, another... Tell me you have an override. Oh yeah. We have you. That's something. Am I in the clear right now? That spooky house seems to have gone away. Okay, so I totally got out through a key card. Right, right! We looked down, I think we looked down the hallway and it said it needed a key card, unless that was that guy? That might have been this one over here. Okay. I had a feeling that the whole level was going to be circular and I'd be able to get back out once I saw that they were connected. It seems like it'd be weird if they made me backtrack the whole way through. Uh, we're so close to a save point. Let's just relish that. Every time I get to a save point, that's one more level I never have to play again. <laughs> Good old permanent progress. What? Don't freak me out right now, we're so close to the save. It's like every time you get to a save point, that's when you actually made it. Up until then, you're not making progress, because none of it stays. Aha! Mission complete! Alright. I got it. I'm sure this'll go well. Damn you, Coleman! You knew that thing was here! Now, that's unfair. I thought it might be there. There's a difference. Now, the passcode. 1702, okay? Now, let's get down to the dispensary. Of course, of course. A promise is a promise. I'm sorry for putting you through this. I'm going to step into the other room to punch the code in and prime the elevator. Then we can use the key card to take the elevator down. Uh. Where is it? Oh, shit. Is it right outside? Oh no, really? Where do I even hide in here? There's no vent in here at least. Oh, there's a... There's that guy though. Well, it can't drop from the ceiling. Let's just do what I can here. So our new goal is to... He came down here, right? Wait, what? There we are. There. I'll collect my things and we can leave. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, warn him at... Oh, come on. Amanda. Well, that's not good. He's dead. He's dead. Where's the new elevator? It's over there. Let's go over there. Where is that? Exactly. Uh, take the elevator lower hospital through the vent. Oh, here. Pressing button now. Eh. Eh? There we go. That one. <laughs> green light. The green light was not the answer. Amanda, all you had to do was be like, hey, there's a guy there. I can see him on my supervision. Oh, I'm fucked. Well... We in the industry call that a goof. I don't know what industry. <laughs> there. I'll collect my things and we can leave. Nope. You can collect your things in hell! Boop. Boop. If I press the buttons fast enough, he doesn't have to die, right? <laughs> No confirmation that he died. <laughs> just took off. In this one, in this canon, Ripley's just a terrible person that abandons people. <laughs> now, what are we doing? Find a trauma kit, they say. All of that just to gain access to this place. We don't even have the thing to save her yet. And how many, di how many times did I risk my life just to get that far? Jeez. Let's see. Something I've noticed is that this game actually has missions. You can go load game, load mission, save. So I've now reached, yeah, level 5 was Quarantine, that's the one I was just doing, and then this is The Outbreak. 
there's multiple missions with names that trigger at some point. So those are like alternate locations you could load from if you have to restart the mission. I noticed that when I had, was stuck with uh, mission three or four. It was, I think it was mission three was the one where I couldn't get past those damn humans and I eventually had to reload the mission. I'm like, oh cool, those mission starting saves. That's convenient at least. All right. So I need to find a trauma kit, you know. <laughs> <laughs> really great map we have here. Go forward, I guess. I don't know. Somewhere? <laughs> it's, it, it could be literally anywhere. Really? Imme immediate, immediate alien detection when all I've done is walk out the front door a little bit? You can be a real dick sometimes, game. Those are bodies. Hello? Grab what I can. It's behind you! That part of the level that doesn't probably exist. Um, find a trauma kit. Let's give it a go. I want to ass I would like to assume I'm safe right now just because there's nowhere to hide. So it'd be a real dick move to attack me right now, game. Uh, can I craft more medkits yet? Yep. Stock up on those. Otherwise we'll have certain resources overflow. There we go. We low on anything in particular? What did I pick up earlier? A pipe bomb. That's a new one. It's, an, it's another expensive item. Pipe bomb is an explosive device which detonates on impact. It is lethal to humans and non-lethal and uh, non-industrial synthetics in close proximity. When placed in an explosive trap, it will trigger when enemies are near. So that's, that's straight up bomb. I gotta say, the primary thing I want, that I... My biggest priority is probably gonna be to make some noise or distraction related items, just because the, I feel like the number one uh, scenario where I'll really need help is gonna be the, uh, the alien. Yeah, the game's beeping at me, but the alien's constantly in places that I can't even be yet. I think they're just trying to make his presence feel known. Ooh. Are you an item? Hello. I bet that's effective against a human. And no one else, probably. Let's take a look. Stun baton. Can't click on it, so we can't really know for sure. Haha, -ha, stun baton. Alright. Tiny progress here. Yeah, no hiding spots still. Be, I'd be I feel like a real dick move if I got attacked right now. Oops. That was loud. Don't do that. Weird loud noises in my head. A little scrap. Look at these things. Weird. So the computer's probably what's going to tell me how to find a trauma kit. Taking a look around. Yeah. Oops. When you're in crouch, you just want to go under everything. Good thing it's... I won't even complain. It's good for when you don't want to die. <laughs> Urgent. Marshall investigation. Frank, I need to talk to you. I've got a body up here that's part of a martial investigation. Female. Late 30s. Chest wound. I have no idea how long Marshall Waits will uh, want to keep her up up here, but this is a high, this is a highly sensitive situation. I am going to need your discretion, and I'll also need you to trust me on this one. Come see me in my office. Lingard, senior medical officer. Environmental controls. Frank, your concern about San Cristobal's lockdown has been noted, but I assure you an evacuation is 100% necessary and only a temporary measure. My priority is the, welf the welfare of the living, while you seem to be more preoccupied with the dead. If you're worried about power fluctuations, morgue temperature, and the condition of the corpses, just adjust the coolant delivery system. Just get out of their ASAP. And we can activate the cooling system. That feels like... What if that gets me in some kind of trouble? Oh well, let's press it. Boop! We're at the beginning of a mission. I can't lose anything, right? Except for my life, temporarily. And then I'll reload the beginning of the mission again. Alright. Well, gotta keep looking around. 
Would there be a trauma kit in the morgue? They're lost causes at that point, right? Is he really in the next room? He's gotta be above me, huh? No. Dude, how fast is he? Shit. <laughs> it's intimidating. He's right above me. Oh, he doesn't exist now. Sure. You know what? He's a he's a horror movie monster. He gets to do that bullshit. <laughs> Alright, I guess maybe he just stopped moving. I'm gonna start walking now. And you're gonna stay nice and quiet and not murder my head off. Okie dokie. That door is locked. So that's not how I get- that's not- do I have to use the vent? Do I have to? I don't really want to. I would quite prefer not to. Oh, I need power. Oh. How do I restore power? Was that one of the options? Let's go forward. Uh, let's head over here next. So I turn on the cooling system. Does it let me go through here? Doesn't look like it. Did I use that save yet? Fuck. Well, I'm dead. Goodbye, everybody. Wee. Yum 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 yum. Wow, he does show up. <laughs> there was nowhere to go in that level either. All right. Um, still got to figure out what button I'm supposed to press in that room. I'll figure it out. There's like nothing in this room anyway. It's a tiny, tiny baby room. You just save, right? Hostiles near. Oh, it warns you when hostiles are nearby. That might kill you. Well, that wasn't a very nice game. Drop. So that's why the vent's there. He totally can just drop himself down in the middle of that. There's only really one room I can interact with, so it's got to be that one. Oh, the stun baton's an electrical thing. Can you electrocute things to restore power? That might be a point. Gonna go ahead and just re-trigger everything here. Oh. Okay. So hydrogen cylinder U6 is missing, so I can't access the cold room because it's gone. And that's why this doesn't work. And is there a visible trauma kit in there? Not that I can tell. Maybe it's just the only direction I could go in. All right, let's, let's see if we can find the coolant. Are they gonna murder me again? Mr. Alien? Compound B, not what I was looking for. Oops. I need to find coolant. Please don't kill me right now, Mr. Alien. I have very little power when you show up. It's in there. So I've got to get in there. So if I use the stun baton... That's a bad sound. Hi! Alright, well, here we go. <laughs> this is not how you be scary, this is how you be annoying! <laughs> go away! I'm in a tiny room with nowhere to go and trying to figure out the puzzle. Could you just, like, not? Could you not bother me right now? <laughs> it's not even like a stealth section, it's like one room. <laughs> <laughs> 